The next stage in the migration of your Joomla website to Joomla 3 is to install a clean copy of Joomla 3 in your web hosting accounts. How you do this will vary from host to host. I'm using SiteGround, so I'm going to log in to their control panel. Once I've done that, go to the My Account section and then go to the C panel. Even if you're not hosted with SiteGround, many hosts offer a control panel like this. If you scroll down, you'll see a link to install Joomla, or perhaps you'll have a link to Site Software or something called Softaculous. You can use any of these to install Joomla onto your web hosting. You can see here that this was just a quick link to the Softaculous installer for Joomla. If you select the install, first thing you will see is a prompt asking you which version you want to install. Obviously, we want to install Joomla 3. We're then prompted for the domain, which is the same one that we're using currently, but, and this is the important stage, you must install this clean version of Joomla 3 in a subdirectory. We don't want to install it over the top of our existing website as that will break it. I'm going to install it in a subdirectory called new. We need a new database name and this installer has proposed one for you so you can just leave that as it is. The site name and site description probably should be changed but we're going to leave them as they are for now and we'll deal with that later stage in the process. Finally, under database settings, there's a section called import sample data. It's essential that you make this to say none, otherwise the migration process will not be successful. And finally, we need to create an admin username and password. The Softaculous installer has suggested one. I'm going to change that to something else. Finally, make sure that you set the admin email address to your own email address. And when you've done all of that, click on Install. The Softaculous installer is now checking that you've done everything correctly and will then install a clean version of Joomla 3 in the folder that you selected. Once that's done, we have two links to our front end of the new site and to the administrator. I'm going to just go to the front end for now and you can see this is a clean Joomla installation. If I go to the administrator and log in with that username and password that we just created, you can see the brand new Joomla 3 control panel. This will look very different to the one you're used to with Joomla 1.5, but don't worry about that. Once we have completed the migration from one site to the other, you can go and view our Joomla 3 training course to familiarise yourself with the new interface.